the third best defensive effort of the weekend belonged to the Minnesota Vikings. They did everything well against the Arizona Cardinals and are beginning to stack good performances week after week. Against the run, they're in their eight-man box right here. They're not going to let David Johnson take this ball and cut it back. And key on Anthony Barr, who had a great day in the middle for the Vikings. When David Johnson cuts this ball back, Anthony Barr is going to be there to poke this ball out. Punch it out. Now the ball is out. And Tommy Johnson here is going to eye the ball and come up with it. They stopped the run. They knocked it loose. They picked it up. They got the ball back, and they turned it into points. All phases of the defense was working for the Vikings. Running back. Vikings were excellent in disguising their coverage against the rookie quarterback, Josh Rosen. Here, when Rosen looks out, he's got a bunch formation. When he looks out, he sees two Viking defenders right at the snap. But at the snap, the Vikings were also in a safety rotation. Anthony Harris up, Harrison Smith back. So as they rotate right here, now, as Josh Rosen gets ready to throw it to Larry Fitzgerald, Anthony Harris is looking right at the throw to position to jump this throw. And on third down, they stop the Cardinals again, and they take the ball away, confusing the rookie quarterback. Vikings defense did everything well on Sunday. The tight end, Ricky Seals-Jones. Rosen throws, intercepted. Anthony Harris stepped in front of the receiver and picked it off. The Vikings' defensive effort included a goal line stand. Here, third and one at the one when the Cardinals went three tight ends. The Vikings answered with Harris, Gideon, and Smith. Three safeties. Now, when Ricky Seal Jones runs to the corner and Coleman runs to the flat, the Vikings were prepared for this route combination. They play the ball in the air perfectly. As Rosen releases this, watch both safeties squeeze Ricky Seal Jones with the ball in the air. This should temporarily make Mike Zimmer pretty happy. Perfect. Pass defense forcing the field goal attempt. Eric Coleman in at fullback. The play fake. Josh Rosen throws to the corner. It's incomplete. The Cardinals didn't convert a single third down attempt. 0 for 10 on Sunday. The Vikings did a lot of disguise on third downs. Here, Trey Wayans is going to walk up late in demand coverage. Simultaneous, Harrison Smith is going to be in a position to have his own blitz coming off the edge. But when Rosen gets the ball and he looks out, he's going to look at a disciplined zone drop team here. Eyes all on him and what he's doing. He's going to hold off the routes until Harrison Smith can get home for the sack. The Vikings defense did everything well on Sunday against the Cardinals. On this team, this offense, it's time for him to make a play. He's looking, he's hit at the one yard. The second best defensive performance of the weekend was from the Dallas Cowboys, and they're led by their two young inside linebackers, Jalen Smith and Leighton Van Der Esch. They had 19 tackles between the two of them. And on this play, the Jags want to run inside zone. Combo blocks up to those inside linebackers. Except Jalen Smith reads his blocking pattern perfectly. And when he sees it, he shoots his gun right here, and he takes Jamal Charles off his feet. And the technique is perfect. When you look at the way that he strikes with his shoulder, not leading with his head, with his shoulder, right foot, right shoulder, right foot, right shoulder. Textbook tackle right here from Jalen Smith, taking Jamal Charles down for a one-yard gain. There's Charles in the backfield. Charles just signed on Tuesday. The all-time leading rusher at Kansas City runs right into Jalen Smith. These two young inside linebackers would play all 48 snaps against the Jaguar. Watch the level of communication here. Pre-snap, back and forth. Now, getting ready to go about the business. Knees bent, eyes up. The blocking scheme of Jacksonville here is exactly the same. Inside zone. Combo up to Van Der Esch, combo up to Jalen Smith. And as soon as this play begins to develop, Leighton Van Der Esch reads it perfectly. He comes screeching downhill here to take T.J. Yeldon off his feet, holding Jacksonville to 65 yards rushing. And the form, exactly the same as Jalen Smith. Right foot, right shoulder. Perfect technique, taking Yeldon off his feet for a two-yard gain. As he used to say, first snap for the Jags was a handoff to Yeldon. The Cowboys were excellent in all phases of their defense Sunday. Let's watch Jalen Smith here in pass coverage. He's in zone coverage, and so initially his job is to be able to hold off the streak route here of D.D. Westbrook, but keep his eyes up and see underneath Keelan Cole getting ready to run a pivot route. Now, when Bortles gets rid of this ball, he's going to be in perfect position to punch this ball out of Keelan Cole's hands. Ball's out! Now, once that ball is out, once it's punched loose, now Rod Marinelli, 
just preaching. Get to the ball. Good things happen when you get to the ball. Pursuit by everybody. Ball's out. Whose ball is it? Jordan Lewis with excellent technique here of recovering this fumble and staying in bounds. Holding himself off here to get the forced fumble by Smith and the recovery by Lewis. Cowboys were excellent in all phases of defense. And quickly. To Cole, and that ball comes out, and he's out when he recovers it, I believe. Oh, they say he was able to scoop it up in bounds. Cowboys were excellent in all phases of defense. And right here, Leighton Van Der Esch has got man-to-man coverage on O'Shaughnessy. The technique is going to be perfect. He's going to stay on his upfield shoulder, looking back at the quarterback, hugging the tight end. So when Bortles is looking to his left and he doesn't like what he sees, when he comes back to the middle, this looks like a Sadie Hawkins dance right here between Van Der Esch and O'Shaughnessy. Total legal defense. And when Bortles tries to fit this ball in, Leighton Van Der Esch is going to knock it out. Pass defense. And these two inside linebackers are having a whole lot of fun, as was the Dallas Cowboy defense. The second best performance of the weekend that I saw, week six of the National Football League. Third and five. Knocked down. That's Van Der Esch. Baltimore Ravens had the most suffocating defensive performance Sunday, and it started with T. Sizzle in his 16th year, still reading plays before they even happen. Like when Marcus Mariota wants to run this bootleg to his right-hand side. When he turns around, he immediately is met by T. Sizzle, who's going to set the edge and box him in while the coverage is flawless. Mariota can't make T. Sizzle miss, and he slows him up here, setting the edge, and then he gets a lot of help. They would sack Mariota 11 times in this game. This one by Wormley, but the Ravens are still led by T. Sizzle. Still getting it done, shutting out the Tennessee Titans. Lewis is in, second down seven. Oh, look out for Suggs. Look out for Wormley, and down he goes. The Ravens' coverage and scheme was as important as their pass rush to get to Mariota 11 times. Here the Titans run this two-receiver route off a stack formation. And initially, the seven-man pass protection holds up very well. Mariota's got time here to be able to survey what is going on. But he sees that they're underneath coverage right here is taking away the out throw. The Ravens have it bracketed perfectly right in the passing lane of Mariota and he's forced to hold the ball and Zadaria Smith is able to get there for the sack. But let's look at it the same play the way Mariota's looking at it. Initially the wall is strong. You got seven man pass protection against five rushers. Mariota though has time to look down the field and see if there's something that's opening up. But the coverage makes him hold the ball. And when it does this is a problem for Marcus Mariota he starts to read the rush here. And Zadarius Smith is able to get home and take Mariota down for one of his three sacks on the day. He get Mariota's eyes to drop, and down goes Mariota. Third down, 12. Mariota. Down he goes again. This time it is Zadarius Smith. Third sack of the season. That's that terrific defense. Let's take a look at how coverage, scheme, and pass rush all led to the sack on Mariota. Here, Corey Davis goes in motion. Brandon Graham is a man coverage, and he's going to run with him. And the route combination is the Titans are going to run three verticals straight down the field with max protection, seven-man pass protection. And the Ravens are going to plaster each of the three receivers. Tight, sticky, man coverage across the board. And Mariota doesn't feel like any of his receivers have won, and it forces him to hold the ball, and the rush gets home. Now, let's look at what happens on the play. Let's key on Matt Judon, the outside linebacker. He's going to fake like he is going to drop into coverage. And it fools Jack Conklin. Initially, that's his man. But when he sees him drop into coverage, he's then going to go and help out. So Conklin comes back inside to help out his tight end here on the play. Meanwhile, the Ravens have got a two-man spy on Mariota. They want to keep him in the pocket. And here comes Judon winning with a free rush to Mariota. Coverage, scheme, pass rush, all responsible for taking Mariota down for one of 11 sacks. In the pistol with Lewis. Look out, here they come. And from behind, he's brought down. Owasso. The Ravens held the Titans to just over 100 yards of total offense. They were suffocating in every department. Here, late in the fourth quarter, they line up with a seven-man 
pressure look to Mariota, but they're not all going to come. Williams and Judon would drop out. Only a five-man rush. But by this point, Mariota is so beat down here. Initially, his eyes are up. He's looking down the field, but they're not going to stay up. Now, once that pressure starts to get to him late in the fourth quarter, when his eyes drop, they owned Mariota. It was the single best defensive performance of the weekend. And Zadarius Smith gets one of his three sacks on the day. Well, that 10 sacks, 10 completions, third down and 11. Marcus Mariota shoots the third goal, my goodness, devoured on the play by Zadarius Smith. That's three for him, isn't it? Yes, it is. Three for him, 11 for the defense.